Hello my lovelies, welcome to this perfume and luxury channel. Today is a very exciting video for me because I love, love, love to death for perfumes and this is the list of some of the best ones. I've done this list kind of mixing the two, the niche and the designer fragrances and here are some that I will for sure will want to wear this fall and these are as well my recommendations for you if you're looking for new autumn fragrances. So without further ado, let's start with the first perfume, which is BDK Tabac Rose. This one doesn't get enough love in my collection, so this fall I am going to wear it and just keep me accountable. This fragrance is divine, divine, and it's one of those that is not talked about enough from the BDK line. The other, like Grishanel, are just so much more talked about about this one is to die for it's a rose it's a very sugary pillowy soft rose it's also very romantic when i smell this this makes me think of fairy tales princesses like belle disney just dancing this is very just romantic sweet delicate beautiful that tobacco in here just gives this fragrance a bit of depth but it isn't like a harsh tobacco in any way. It, it isn't a masculine sort of a smell. This is really leaning feminine from their collection. And if you love rose, but like a jammy, beautiful, just soft, like rose on clouds, basically, then this is just divine and it lasts and it's such a strong but delicate fragrance really like if you haven't checked it out this is an amazing amazing fragrance and perfect for this transitional weather next fragrance i want to mention is prada paradox the new intense version you keep asking me here on this channel to review it i have smelt it and tested it and i can wholeheartedly recommend it i think it's such a similar version of the original i don't think me personally because i've got the original i'll be buying the intense but never say never but i think it's beautiful it's a bit deeper it's basically a very similar scent but it has got a bit more fruitiness uh, which i really like and it's a bit more intense but i think with projection i actually prefer the original so depending on what kind of fragrance you want you might opt for the the original or the new intense version but i think this fragrance is perfect for all year round but also for fall because this is a perfect fragrance from day to night from like if you are going on a date but also you can wear it to work it's just such a pleasing dna and i just love love this release from prada next a perfect full fragrance is Tonka Cola from Mancera. This smells like fall, no kidding. So good. Oh, it reminds me of Feve Delicieuse from a Dior exclusive line, which is now back available on their website, but it was discontinued for a while. And this is a very good alternative, not necessarily a dupe, but a very good alternative. It's still got this like play-doughy vanilla and it's just so delicious, but then it's got this Coca-Cola opening, which is fizzy and citrusy and caramel and fun. This fragrance is so delightful to wear. It really lasts and projects and it just, Although it's like a gourmand with this Coca-Cola vibe opening, it just gives it a whole other dimension. I find that it's just unique and really beautiful, beautiful. So Tonka Cola is another warm fragrance for the fall season. And this list couldn't be made without one of my favorite fragrances right now that I've already been wearing, but I mean, this will be amazing during fall time. The new YSL Libre Parfum. This is to die for. I can't decide between the Intense now and this one because I love them both so much. Such a great release. If you like the freshness of the original, but you like in the fall time to have a bit more substance and vanilla to your fragrance, then this, the scent cloud of this line is amazing and especially the Parfum version and the Intense version. But this one just gives you that... Uh, 
a bit more of that juicy freshness and a bit more of lightness compared to the intense the intense version is still very intense and it's got a huge cloud of fragrance around you but that one is much more vanillic this one is very intense but kind of juicy and fruity which i adore and i think this is a perfect full fragrance full stop next up we've got a nishane fragrance i've already started wearing this one i love it papilla fico uh, from nishane extrait de parfum This is heaven in the fragrance if you want just one signature scent for fall and you love just this like fig sandalwood sort of a note marry notes marrying each other and this is that but a bit nutty a bit dry with some tiny bit of like woodiness in there as well this fragrance it's just so 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 good the only thing is that i wish it lasted a bit longer but in the essence this fragrance is amazing i love comparing it a little bit to gris chanel from bdk because it does have this softness this like sandalwood figgy softness that is reminiscent they're not dupes but they're alternatives to each other i would say this one is a bit more of a character gris chanel is a bit more of a soft ladylike person this one is a has got a bit more oomph and rebellion in herself uh, but yeah it's so gorgeous so good try it out next we've got staple in my fall collection by the fireplace this is a love or hate i think let me know in the comments if you're a lover of this fragrance or if you hate it this literally smells like being by the fireplace and the fire burning there's like literal smoke uh, but then there's this really cozy vanilla this for like bonfire night i have worn it so many times for like uh, bonfire night here in the uk we've got guy Fawkes day uh you've got also this perfect santini for like pumpkin halloween sort of this vibe this is perfect for that outdoorsy activities during full time it just smells so good it's a very intense scent so you must love it but if you love this then you'll love it forever because it's so literal like it's literally by the fireplace but it's just as comforting as the fragrance can be next up we've got Odewell from Diptyque this is the Eau de Toilette yes the Eau de Toilette uh, and this again is one of those fragrances that I wear each fall and I can't get enough of it just smells like fall it's a woody uh, spicy a bit peppery uh, not pink pepper black pepper vanilla that is light but still warming it's like you are waking up on a very cold fall day and you're going to work and it's cold but you see the leaves on the trees and you're going to pick up your favorite coffee and it gives you that bit of warmth this is that fragrance in essence it's just brisk and light but it gives you a bit of warmth it's absolutely stunning stunning definitely smells like a french perfume house did vanilla in the right way just like a very sophisticated light touch of vanilla but it just works amazingly and i mean nobody can hate this fragrance this is very crowd pleasing but at the same time it is niche next up we've got a lush fragrance that i love for fall and it's turmeric latte this scent is to die for it's my favorite from lush personally and i'm so glad they bought it back this is a creamy but fruity cherry and syrupy jam that you put like on a yogurt um you know those like corners here in the uk they're called corners there's they're like maybe in the us they're also called corners i don't know but they like come in a square little thing and you've got one side of the yogurt and the other one of some sort of like a jam fruity jam uh, and it's just absolutely delicious this smells like um the cherry version of this and it's a bit boozy it's 
spicy it's so sexy and bumpy for fall if you love something like rouge smoking from bdk this you'll definitely love because it's got that same spiciness sexiness that intensity you can definitely pick up cherry in here which is it's a bit smoky even a bit with a bit of coffee in there it's such a good scent love this one definitely smells niche and it's the one to keep an eye out during this season because i think it's seasonal actually i think so next up we've got another niche scent l'orchestre parfum piano santal this fragrance is sandalwood for somebody who loves this note this is super creamy coconutty animalic as well it just makes me think of when i played the piano <laughs> just the the way that the piano would look um we had like a, an ivory piano in our big concert hall at school and i would play uh, my recitals on there and it was just always like this milky lovely color i just remember it vividly and it was so cold to the touch when i played the piano and this fragrance has got this like creaminess of this sandalwood this ivory sort of a smell and it's so beautiful and comforting and it smells clean but slightly sweet at the same time such a good scent very um unique and something that i think people would ask you about because this is a scent dna that is not necessarily like, available everywhere which i love so if you're somebody who loves to smell unique maybe you've got friends who are into perfumes as well and you're like oh why can't i find something that is you know unique and nobody has then this is just absolutely stunning next up we've got chanel cormondel this fragrance is a staple i think in my collection i can't live without it it's one that you literally have to smell at least once in your life because it's such a cult scent and this chanel caramondel it's full of patchouli just white chocolate it's so intense sweet but so refined and the patchouli is so earthy so strong so good it definitely is my perfect cozy scarf fragrance because this will last for literally just days so you don't have to respray your scarf you literally if you're like want to sm smell cozy you'll smell caramel from meters away it's so good it's warm it's very i'd say classic but at the same time it's not too classic so that like younger people can't get way with wearing it because i think the chanel the original chanel number five in my opinion at least it's a bit harder to get away with wearing it everywhere whereas this is a nice like in between it's got very classy chanel elements but it also because of that warmth that uh, white chocolate it makes it a tad bit more fun and cozy and inviting and warm so love this one just be careful never buy it from like resellers or anything like that with chanel i would be very careful uh, of buying it from anywhere because chanel is so so like difficult to deal with so usually retailers who stock it they stock it and you know who they are they're reputable um and chanel doesn't discount their fragrances so if you're getting a very good deal somewhere then probably it's not right and it's not original so be careful if chanel would only get it from chanel's website pretty much or like safe places like sephora new and marcus you know selfridges all of those let me know what is your current perfect fragrance for fall that you can't wait to wear maybe you've started wearing it down in the comments so i can get some items also on my wish list and we can all discuss uh, the fragrances together and subscribe if you enjoyed this video i'm also on instagram at monica underscore Choch, which is c-i-o-c-h where i post a bit more about my life and perfumes so follow me on there uh, if you want and i'll see you in the next one bye